Welcome to Eat Clean 16 and we're on our breakfast series where I'm showing you how to make some different breakfasts where you're not relying on starch carbohydrates. I'm going to have to go quick here because my trusty assistant is eating some of uh, the ingredients. So let me go over really quickly what ingredients you're going to need today. So we're making kind of a peaches and cream type omelette. You're going to need uh, some peaches, fresh or frozen. Uh, I've got about uh, two cups here. You probably don't need quite that much. We may or may not use all of that. Again, if you're trying to uh, minimize your calories, you want to go with just um, a little bit fewer peaches. If you're just aiming for uh, energy and maybe even weight gain or performance, then go ahead with the full two cups of peaches. You're going to want half a cup each of cottage cheese, 1% fat cottage cheese, and Greek yogurt, um, unsweetened please. Uh, it doesn't have to be Greek yogurt, but that would be ideal. And we've also got pecans. There's our healthy fat. It was about a quarter of a cup, but my trusty assistant has been uh, noshing away as we go. Some olive oil uh, cooking spray, if possible. Stevia to sweeten, or something like a, maybe a little bit of honey. You can use a, a teaspoon of honey if you want. And some cinnamon for flavoring. And I think egg whites, if I didn't, might help me out here a little bit. Do this as quickly as I can. So we're going to take one cup of egg whites, we're going to mix that with some cinnamon. You want some? Yeah, you can help. You can a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Good job, buddy. So mix that up. And we're going to take, for my case, I'm going to sweeten with stevia. And we're going to take four little micro teaspoons, this is about one thirty-second of an actual teaspoon of stevia, and we're going to mix that all up together, and then in a second what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that over on the frying pan, and I'm going to cook that up like an omelet. So I'll come back to you once I've done that, and I'll give you a couple little hints on what that looks like. That's all mixed up. The pan is a little bit hot. I'm going to spray the pan. I'm going to pour this mixture of egg white, cinnamon, and stevia into the pan and I'm going to let that cook up like I would an omelet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it into the pan. I'm going to probably let it cook for about two minutes until I start to see the top getting a little bit bubbly. I'll use my flipper to peek underneath and uh, see whether or not the bottom is a little bit golden brown. If it is, then I'll flip it. And I'll show you that in just one second. So first, spray on the pan, and then I'll put the eggs in. Okay, meanwhile, while I've got the eggs in the pan, cooking in the pan, and I keep on flipping back to make sure they're not overcooked. We're going to mix together, and Jacob might help me with this. I'm going to do half a scoop of cottage cheese, so that's so our half, a, half a cup of cottage cheese. Do you want to put that in there, buddy? Flip that in. Make sure it's all going in, and we'll get a spoon to mix that up. Perfect. And then I'm going to do half a cup of Greek yogurt, very good. Oh, sorry, you were supposed to do that. Here, you can mix this up, okay? Can you mix that up? It's a spoon. Yep, mix that up with a spoon. We're gonna add our quarter cup of pecans, which we may add a little bit more. Okay, the other thing I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm just gonna slice up the peaches just a little bit so that they're gonna be easier to eat. So what I'm making here, this is going to be one humongous serving, or probably two, two reasonable sized small servings. So two um, healthy portions for a female. This would be equivalent to, or about, this is maybe about um, one very large portion for a male. If a male is making this, they might have almost maybe three quarters of, of what I'm making. Or if they're very active, a very active male, they might have the, the whole entire thing. Okay, so we're going to add some peaches. You want to keep stirring that. Now my trusty assistant again is eating the ingredients. That probably means that's good. He's enjoying it. Okay, we're going to mix that up. While my assistant is mixing that up, I'm going to go check on the omelet and see how we So this is what the omelet looks like in the pan. So you can see the cinnamon is uh, kind of risen to the top. We've got a little bit of bubbling action here. Um, and I'm just going to double check the bottom. It's still a little liquid, li liquidy on top. Uh, I think 
I don't know if you can see the bottom. It looks like you could brown just a little bit more. I'm going to leave it a little bit more, especially because the top is, uh, I don't know if you can tell, it's a little bit liquidy. So I'm going to leave that just a little bit longer before I flip it. And then uh, we will transfer all the ingredients together. I'm mixing up the pecans, the peaches, and the yogurt. It's small. Now I realize what I've done here, which I probably should have done, this is um, one way to um, improve the recipe, is I've added in the canned peaches which, had, which were packed in water. So this is going to be a little bit liquidy. Um, what, as I add this, I'm going to scoop it, uh, when I add it onto the omelet, I'll scoop a little bit at a time instead of just dumping the whole thing in because it is a little bit liquidy. But I'm sure it'll still taste delicious. Here we go. I did a relatively successful flip of the omelet. That's the omelet after it's been flipped. And I'm going to let it cook another maybe one minute, maybe one or two minutes. I'll double check the underside. Uh, and when that looks somewhat like the top does here, then I'm going to transfer this onto a plate and then put our... Mm. Okay, so we've uh, made our omelet. So this uh, came off the frying pan. You can see what it looks like on both sides. We've got the cinnamon and we've got the egg and a little bit of stevia. And now what we're going to do is we're going to place... I'm not going to put... You are going to like some. I'm going to put this mixture on top. I'm going to scoop it in. So again, here we've got peaches. We've got pecans for our healthy fat. We've got uh, for our protein, more protein in addition to the eggs. We've got the um, cottage cheese and... We've got the Greek yogurt in here. Now, as you can see, I've got a fair bit of extra mixture here because I used all those peaches. So uh, I'm going to leave some of that. And what we do is we flip the omelet over top of one another, and there is our delicious breakfast. So again, in terms of serving size, uh, what I would probably do for a female is I would cut that in half. For a very, very active larger male, he might have pretty much the whole thing. For um, a moderate sized male, he might have, say, three, three quarters um, uh, to the whole thing. Probably more like three quarters for that. But Jake and I are going to test this out and enjoy this together. So hope you uh, enjoy that. And I'm really excited because it does look like a delicious meal. And I can't wait because I'm hungry for breakfast. <laughs> So just a quick little side note, uh, as you saw that when I uh, made the mixture of the cottage cheese, the yogurt, and the peaches, and the pecans, I had a fair bit extra. But what I've done is I've just uh, placed the extra into a small little dish, a little Ziploc container, and now I've got a really healthy snack for later. So in some ways I think uh, having the liquid uh, peaches or the peaches in a can with the uh, packed in water was actually a good thing, even though it ended up increasing the content of what I was doing and um, it was quite liquidy. It, uh, it made the mixture quite sweet uh, and there was no sweetness or added sweetener to the yogurt. So I think that actually uh, made a, a really good um, change to the recipe. And then we got some uh, a snack, a nice little snack for later because we had a little extra quantity. So play around with that. Uh, let me know how it goes if you try fresh peaches. Of course, you could always do this with any other type of fruit. You could take this basic recipe, the omelet, um, the, two, the yogurt, and the cottage cheese, and the nuts, and add whatever type of fruit you want. So enjoy. We're enjoying ours right now. It's delicious. And hope you have a great rest of your day.